Hello there, this is Dave, KA6BFB. Since you've selected this video, you probably know about Ham Radio Deluxe, and you're probably a fan of the FT736 as I am. The FT736 is a legendary radio and satellite work. It was ahead of its time when it came out 20 years ago, and it's still a very useful radio right now. The only problem I have with it is that it will not interface to the equally useful Ham Radio Deluxe. Now this isn't a reflection on Ham Radio Deluxe. Ham Radio Deluxe is designed to work with more modern radios. The more modern radios allow you to query the radio for information on mode and frequency and the 736 does not allow this. As a matter of fact, the only thing that you can query the 736 for is condition of the squelch and the S meter signal and that's it. But you can write frequency and mode information to it. However, Ham Radio Deluxe is not set up on that model and it probably would be a major kludge to make it work with a 736. So, I wanted to figure out a way to make Ham Radio Deluxe work with my 736 because Ham Radio Deluxe has a lot of awesome features like um, you can use it for decoding digital modes, you can use it for controlling your radio for satellites, which is what I want to do. You can use it for logging. And let's bring it back here. So I thought it might be possible to emulate a radio that Ham Radio Deluxe does support and inside of that emulation have registers that have all the data and share that data with the 736. So I conducted a survey of all the radios that Ham Radio Deluxe does support and the one that I found closest in functionality was the Yaesu FT847. So what I wanted to do was come up with some hardware that would go between the serial port on Ham Radio Deluxe and the CAT interface port on the FT736 and would emulate the 847, collect that data and send it to the 736 so they would still both be in sync as if it was talking to an 847. What I did initially to test the viability of this was to write such a thing in Windows. I was going to use it there see if it worked, and if it did, maybe uh, come up with a design in a microcontroller to do the same thing without a computer. Well, I have done that, and I wanted to share the results, and maybe somebody else can run with this, uh, or maybe I'll get to it in the future. But what I did was I wrote an emulator. This is my emulator, and you can see the values of the different registers there. This talks to Ham Radio Deluxe. Ham Radio Deluxe is fooled into thinking that it's talking to an 847. I then take that information and convey it to the 736. And it works pretty well. So let's connect to my phony 847. And there you go. Ham Radio Deluxe now thinks it's talking to an 847. And if you see there's the CAT interface is now enabled on the 736. Now I'm going to change frequencies here. And if you watch this, it's also changing on my 736. Just like I wanted it to. And I can change all these other things that are supported in the 847. I can change the PL tone. I can change whether or not it's in satellite mode. I can make it transmit. I can change the mode. I can... Uh, set the encoder or decoder for the PL and I can set the uh, the repeater offset or I, I guess I should say shift. Another curious thing is if you look over here you'll see that the squelch is enabled and sure enough the squelch is squelched and if I take a local radio and I transmit you'll see the squelch goes away and you'll see the signal strength shows full strength because I'm so close. And then I'll unkey and sure enough the S meter goes down and the squelch is back. So that works and all of these modes over here work. You've seen the frequency work. I'll quickly change mode here. So we'll go to uh, lower sideband 
You probably can hear the radio went to lower sideband. And there it is on lower sideband. Then I'll change it to upper sideband. There, it just went to upper sideband. Then I'll change it back to FM. And now we're back on FM. And another thing that would be interesting to see is the satellite mode, because that is the reason that I did this whole thing. So if I select satellite, you'll see that it now goes to the two satellite frequencies. This is for the ISS repeater, the International Space Station repeater, listening on 145.8 and transmitting on 437.8. And if I go to the radio, you'll see that the orange indicator is there now showing that it's in satellite mode and if I hit transmit you'll see it's now transmitting and the needle is moving because that's my uh, audio as I'm talking right now it's making it transmit I'll stop transmitting and there we are now I'll go back to uh, non non satellite mode and here we are back here well, there's a brief discussion on faking out HRD into working with a 736. I probably will eventually get to this myself, but if somebody wants to uh, leapfrog my efforts and, and take the ball and run with it, I'd be happy to discuss it with you. Or you can just uh, take the information from this video, and if you do something, please let me know. I'm good at my uh, qrz.com email address for KA6BFB and since we're going to close this video might as well show you what happens when I close HRD so if you notice there's the cat uh, cat system indicator I'm going to go up here I'm going to close where is it right there I'm going to close the 847 and there the cat interface went away and now it's ready for normal operation. Thank you very much for showing interest in this, and I hope something comes of this. 73 KA6BFB.